Member West Vancouver, Cedar Sky. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last August, a criminal act of vandalism caused the Sea to Sky gondola, an asset which has fundamentally changed the tourism economy in Squamish, to come crashing to the ground. Some of you may have enjoyed the views of Howe Sound and Garibaldi or the suspension bridge uh, or the network of accessible trails in this now iconic installation. However, on August 10th last year, in the middle of a record-breaking operating season, the main haul rope for the gondola was deliberately and completely severed. Most of the 30 gondola cabins attached to the cable crashed down the mountain. Only through good fortune and the fact that this malicious act took place in the dark of night is it that no person was hurt, although hundreds of people suffered unexpected job loss. Within a few short weeks of the sabotage, the Squamish Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Squamish came together to host a job fair. The lift manufacturers from Switzerland and Austria committed to getting this important economic driver and tourism amenity back up and running with all speed. Ahead of schedule, a new cable and 30 new cabins have been installed and tested by Technical Safety British Columbia, and as one would expect, a brand new state-of-the-art high-tech security system has also unfortunately had to be installed. The Sea to Sky Gondola reopens this Friday, and it's important to recognize the team at the Sea to Sky Gondola, its industry suppliers and partners, and the community of Squamish for bringing back online this important asset, one that has reshaped outdoor recreation and experience-based tourism in Squamish. While I look forward to the opportunity to, uh, to ride this gondola again on Friday, I also look forward to the outcome of the criminal investigation and witnessing the individuals or organization responsible be held accountable and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.